Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Centerport United Methodist Church, here for a time of prayer and music. My name is Pastor Roy Grubbs, and alongside our music director, Joe Ferrante, we welcome you to this time of stopping and listening. You know, things are really starting to pick up now that we're reopening here in New York, and especially here on Long Island. And life is starting to get a little bit more busy, a little more hectic, and a little more nerve-wracking as we go forward. Layer on top of that, everything else that's going on in our nation as we work towards fighting against the injustices going on, and it's a lot for everyone to deal with. So let's take a moment, we're gonna pause and bring it down. So let's just close our eyes, and together let's breathe out and breathe in. So breathe out anything that would distract you from hearing the message of invitation today. And let's breathe in the gift of the Holy Spirit. just doing that little bit of breathing has already brought me into more of a centered place. Let's add that as a practice as we're going through these days upcoming and throughout the weeks and months ahead. Just close your eyes, breathe out and breathe in. Let's breathe in the Holy Spirit, Jesus' Spirit, whom we really want to turn to and focus and follow. And that leads us to our first hymn together, it's called Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus. Lord, in this time of uneasiness, in this time of mourning, in this time of celebration for graduations and all kinds of wonderful joys to celebrate, and in this time of seeing humanity in a terrible place, all of this mixed up, Lord, causes us to be uneasy and anxious even angry at times, while feeling grateful and celebrating. And all of this at once is difficult. And so we stop to turn and to look at you, to feel you running through us, and to know that you are with us, and that you will help us to have the courage to do the work that you have for us in the coming days and months and to pause and to stop and to celebrate with all those who are celebrating. Lord, bless us and keep us, and let us now pray together the words that Jesus taught us by saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And as we breathe in the Holy Spirit, as we've turned our eyes to look at Jesus, to see Jesus, and to begin to listen for the message that Christ has for us, it's only appropriate that we sing this next song, the Spirit Song, which talks about Jesus and His Spirit filling us and coming to us. It's a prayer hymn to Jesus. Our scripture reading for this evening comes from the book of Luke, chapter 10, verses 38 through 42, and it's the story of Martha and Mary. The Lord and his disciples were traveling along and came to a village. And when they got there, a woman named Martha welcomed him into her home. She had a sister named Mary who sat down in front of the Lord and was listening to what he said. Martha was worried about all that had to be done. And finally, she went to Jesus and said, Lord, doesn't it bother you that my sister has left me to do all the work by myself? Tell her to come and help me. The Lord answered, Martha, Martha, you are worried and upset about so many things, but only one thing is necessary. Mary has chosen what is best, and it will not be taken away from her. This is the word of God for the people of God. You know, I don't know about you, but even before COVID-19 hit, it just felt like one big swirl after another, even as a pastor, even trying to do the work of Christ here in this sanctuary, here in the church building, in the community, and letting it ripple out to the world, sometimes it just felt like we were spinning, like I was spinning, and spinning out of control. And I couldn't even keep up with all the communication demands, all the meetings, all the times to be with people, and it just felt like you're constantly going, constantly going, never stopping. 
Anybody remember that? And then during this pandemic, I've had a lot of time now to be home, like the rest of you, and forcibly stopped. No more travel, no more going upstate, going on the LIE. In fact, the routine is very, very different now. And even as we're just starting to reopen, it still is mostly at home. Time to come over here to the sanctuary and to sit down and to listen. Time to go out on my back deck and just listen to the trees rustling. Time to walk down to the water and just watch the waves lapping against the shoreline. And to listen. And to, for the first time in a long time, be able to hear the wind blowing. To listen to the birds chirping. To listen to the hum of life going on all around. You know, Martha was sitting down from the craziness of life in the house and listening to Jesus and listening to what he had to say to her. Martha was in that pre-COVID world, just running around trying to make the dinner perfect, trying to get the table set just so, trying to get the flowers arranged. Jesus is here after all. And I've got to be busy getting ready for our teacher, our Lord, to sit at the table. When really all Jesus wants us to do is to sit down and listen. No big fancy preparation. Just to listen to what Jesus has for us and what Jesus wants us to do. You know, I, I, my theology does not say that God caused a lot of this harm that's going on in the world, particularly with George Floyd and so many who preceded him. I don't believe God purposed that to happen. But from it, maybe God is trying to work through it, through us, to come to something new, to stop and to kneel down in front of Jesus and to listen to what Jesus has to teach us about what love really is and about what loving others and who is really my neighbor. And Jesus' reply to the question of who is my neighbor is everyone. What is Jesus trying to tell us about life for all and what is Jesus trying to tell us about who we're supposed to be ourselves and to awaken some of the gifts, maybe even a gift we've never even acknowledged before? To go out and make a difference in the world for justice, for peace, for love, for others to feel that love. How can we do that if we're not stopping, if we're not listening? through this horrific time that has changed us, maybe we can take these lessons of stopping more and listening much more to life, to the world, to God, maybe even speaking through those around us. And as we go back into life again, letting it change us for the better, Maybe we need to recalibrate, not being Martha so much, but being Mary more and listening. May we always be listeners of Christ. Amen. And in our response to Jesus calling us, we've chosen our closing hymn tonight called, Lord, You Have Come to the Lake Shore." And it kind of goes off of that time when Jesus called his disciples. As they walked along the sea, he started calling fishermen, and they dropped their nets immediately and followed him. Listen to the lyrics of the song.
to the lake shore, looking neither for wealthy nor wise ones, you came to look for me, and you came to look for each one of us, and you only ask us to follow humbly, to listen, and to respond. Let us take this night and the time we have gifted to us in the coming days weeks, months, and even years ahead, to be Martha, to sit at Jesus' feet and just listen, to take that precious time to know what's being asked for, from us, and to go and do just that, and to have the courage to speak out and to go and act. Go forth in love and in peace. <laughs>